Hello, my name is Denver Profit, and I'm the host master of Strike Talk Ecommerce Inc. We provide unlimited support with all of our hosting packages. If you want to know more about our company, just click the annotation at the end of the video. Walter Heber of Tin Carbon Machinery asks, How can I provide access credentials to my website files without divulging the account FTP password? Point your browser to winscp.net. Down at the bottom there, you'll see the full URL. And where I have my arrow, click on the installation package, and this is for Windows operating systems. WinSCP also included a software package from PuTTY, and this is the PuTTY key generator, and you can search it from Windows start bar from typing in P-U-T-T-Y-G-E-N, one word. P-U-T-T-Y, G as in golf, E, N as in Nancy. You're going to select the SSH2 RSA encryption suite, and you're going to set the key bits to 4096. This will uh, take a couple years for someone to be able to crack your password. And of course, you should change out your keys at least every 30 days. So to get started, you're going to click the generate your key and then right in here you just gotta wiggle your mouse and it's going to tell you when you can stop but this is seeding the uh, random generator all done wait for it to load there this is your key Pretty random, huh? First thing you want to do is set your key comment to the name of the person you're going to give it to. That'll show up here at the end. And set a password. Use at least 12 characters, alphanumeric, upper, lower case, and some special characters. So let's do. B L oops B L U use the three key to complete blue and H zero S T and let's put ampersand asterisk. So that's gonna be our password Bluehost. Wonder where that came from. All right, now you want to uh, save your public key. And you can do that one or two ways. You can copy paste. Copy paste, just select and highlight the entire random characters. Come over here and paste it. And then do your file save as. Put it in uh, a thumb drive, something that uh, won't be connected to any computer. It's not as important as the private key. Uh, I usually keep both in uh, a thumb drive. So now we've got that and you want to stash this file uh, somewhere. And let's get ready to save the private key. save it somewhere in there that'll create the PPK that's what you're going to use in WinSCP and you can uh, edit that PPK file and paste in the contents into a TXT file save that as well some um, some pieces of software will not accept that you can also do uh, export an SSH key and that'll save it as a txt file so you should be all set now just 
make sure you uh, have a copy of your private key somewhere else. Main thing you want to focus on is your public key from this window. And then we'll proceed to the next steps. When you load up WinSCP, this is going to be the first screen you see over here. You're going to create a new site. So you want to select the SFTP protocol and you want to put in the host name that we gave you from your new account email. The port number is random and it will be in your new account email so put the port number in there and then your username is your cPanel username and then skip the password click on advanced make sure that's still on the screen there you're going to come down to connection and the first thing you're going to do is select sending of null SSH packets then you're going to come down to SSH enable compression I always put it on SSH2 only and then the key exchange leave that blank authentication remember earlier I told you to save the PPK the private key file so you're going to come over here to the dots and you're going to select that key file and you're going to insert that there. The directories, uh, you can come back and do that later. It's basically on the remote system path would be slash home slash your cPanel username and then public underscore HTML. The local directory would be possibly where you have a backup of your website. And you can decide these here down at the bottom. Save that. Leave that one blank. I, I really hate using that one. Don't worry about the recycle bin or anything else in there. And then click OK. And then you're going to save it. And I like to keep mine organized. So I would keep this as... A company folder and then put uh, whatever website it's going to be for you can create a desktop shortcut if you'd like and then click OK so now we've, we've saved our website and we can just click login and that is going to log in with the shell key and it will not require the FTP password to get in there. Now you can have several shell keys. So just you know generate uh, or have your uh, other staff person generate their key. Ask them to provide you with their public key. And then we'll show you what to do on the next step. Log into cPanel of whichever account you're going to manage. And in the left side, click and search and then type in SSH and click a little black window icon. It should bring up this page. Go ahead and read the details. And then when you're done, click manage SSH keys. The next screen, you're going to click import key. On the next screen the person's name don't use any spaces because Linux Unix hate spaces so put in either underscore or a dash and put the person's name and then copy and come over here skip the private key skip the passphrase just put in that and then click import that should save it and then you're going to authorize John Doe and you're going to click authorize now John Doe is authorized to complete an SSH2 
to log in with his private key and their own password and you can you know have 15 to 20 people uh, given authorized access to your website but they're not going to know your FTP password if you have any questions leave them in the comments below thank you for your question I sincerely hope that it answered what you needed to know if you have any other questions or ideas for videos come over to the discussion tab in our YouTube channel and leave a comment